that you can join me today. I have Facebook here and Instagram here. So if you're on Instagram, what I suggest is you pop over to Arba Georgie on Facebook. It's a bigger screen. I am so excited to create art with you today. My name is Georgie and I'm an art teacher and I'm coming to you from the Mornington Peninsula in Victoria. I really want to know who am I creating art with today? Can you tell me your name and maybe how old you are and put it in the comments? We have Ruby. She's got A4 size paper and I don't even mind. I think that is perfect, Ruby. Well done. Who else is joining me? Put your name in the comments. Tell me how old you are as well. So this week, it's a really special week because we are in a new year, 2021. 2020 was really tricky for a lot of people. So we are going to start this year with creativity and you guys are going to have an amazing year. I just can't wait. I know it. Who else have we got? Hey there, Hannah. So happy to see you or hear that you're here. <laughs> Hello, Amelia and Archer. He is six. Hey, Archer. We have Addison. She's from Adelaide. Hey, and you're five. Hello, Kira and Noah and Lucy and Jake are creating together. Isabella, Irene, Liliana. Fantastic. Hey, Sophie. Piper is five. And Hudson is three. Wow, that's fantastic. We have Chloe, Caitlin, Gary, and, and who else? We have Ava, Dante. So many of you are jumping on to start the new year with creativity. You guys are going to just create masterpieces every day this week, and I'm excited to see them. Hey, Joshua and Joanna, they are from Adelaide. I know that we have a few people from the Northern Beaches because they're having a rough time. So I hope this is really helpful for you guys in lockdown. Hey, Bodie and Lucas and Charlie. Jed is here. Now, a lot of you I know did this with me um, in the last school holidays. So you might already have a little bit of an art gallery and you're going to add to that every day this week. Hello, Aman. Georgia is eight. Rafferty is seven. And we have Pranil, who is four. Lucas and Charlie. This is so exciting. Mackenzie, Charlotte, and Austin. Hey, Orlando. Now, I want to say hello to every single person, but I'm going to start going through what we are creating today. If you're just joining, jump on, say hello, and tell me how old you are. Now, your mummy might have already got this in the mail. And you don't need to print this out, but this tells you everything that we are doing this week and what you need as well. So I'm about to go through that because if you have a look oh, over here, <laughs> these little sweet treats, that is what we are creating today. So you guys can go crazy with your imagination of how you want to top your little sweet cupcakes with icing and cherries, maybe some wafers, um, I know that a lot of you, you wrote me and you told me that you love unicorns. And I, I looked on Pinterest and there are a heap of unicorn um, cupcakes. <laughs> so I thought that we might try one of those today. Hello, Maya. Miss A is here. Hey, Ella from the Northern Beaches. Prayers to the Northern Beaches, Ella. Um, Liat is here too. Okay, we have Ava, Evelyn, Matilda. Fantastic. I'm so glad you guys can hear me and you are online. That's great. All right. Are you ready to go through what we need today? If you are ready, let's have our listening ears on. Hey, Grace, I have a piece of paper behind me. It is big. It is A3. So if you have A3, that just means your picture can be bigger. If you've got A4, it just means you make, make it a little smaller to fit. And I am going to be using today my colored markers. So you're going to have fun choosing some beautiful colors. Hello there, Arabella from regional Victoria, Justin, Olivia, and Jaden. I also have some Crayola markers, which I kind of love these colors as well. I am going to be doing all my outlines in this black Sharpie. So if you have a black Sharpie, grab that. If you just have a normal black marker, then you grab that too. I am also going to be coloring with some crayons. So go ahead, grab your crayons. And you know what? That is all we need to create our masterpiece today. 
paper, markers, and crayons. And I'm going to just switch over my screen to show you a little bit of inspiration. I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing all this week. Here I go. I'm just going to click here. Okay. So here is our art party. Here are all of the amazing projects this week. You are going to create five. And what I want you to do is when you start the lesson, I want you to go all the way to the end and finish it. Even if you think that your artwork is not so good, even if it's a little tricky, even if you wish you had it done it differently, it's really important just to stay with it and finish it. And you know what? Then the next time you come to it, you can do it a little differently and you learn things along the way. So let's, um, let's have a look today. Here we go. We're doing three sweet treats. We're going to top them with different beautiful um, icing and details. And I'm going to show you a little bit of inspiration. This is what I found today when I was looking up these little cupcakes. Look at these little unicorn designs. There is one with a mermaid tail. So if you like these ideas, you can just have a look at this. Maybe you want to do a mermaid tail or a unicorn. I really love this yummy one with the Oreo and all that chocolate topping. And there are super um, yummy ones with this cherry there as well. Or maybe it's a strawberry that you want to add. So we are going to get started. I hope you got a bit of inspiration from having a look at those. Hello, Megan, Emma, and Luke. We got Catherine, Jayton, Kashab is here as well. You guys are going to show me that you're ready <laughs> by holding up your black marker. Are you ready? And while you do that, I'm just going to pop down and put my charger in my computer. One, one second. And we are going to start with our first sweet treat. Okay. So what I want you to notice is that my sweet treats fill the page and I've got three. So put your hand in the middle of the page, smack bang in the middle. This is where our first sweet treat will be. If you are three or four, then you might need to separate your hand a bit because you might have a tiny hand. So sweet treat number one goes here. Now move it to the left. Sweet treat number two goes there. Move it to the right. Sweet treat number three goes there. So I need you to make sure you're spacing them out so we fill the page. Are you ready? Grab your black marker. Hello, Rose. Let's get started. What I'm going to do right in the middle where my hand was, I am going to start at the bottom. I'm drawing a little bit of a curved line for the bottom of the cupcake. And then I am doing a line on the left, a line on the right. And then I'm doing a little bit of a top. I'm going wavy. But you could do little um, zigzag. You could do little bumps. However you like to draw your cupcake, that's number one. Then I want you to do a little bit of a bracket shape on this side and a bracket shape on this side. So this bit is the cake bit of our cupcake. You can decide is it strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, anything yummy. Then, if you are with me, we're going to put some icing on this one. So this one, we're going to do this little cupcake design up here with the big yummy Oreo on top of it. So here I go. What I want you to do is start from one side and go bump, 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 all the way to the side. And you can make your bumps kind of small or big. And I'm just going to bring in my screen so you can see it better. Now, before we do the little sides, I want us to put maybe a cherry or um, a strawberry, either one of those, so leave a little gap, and I'm just going to put a cherry up here. So it's a circle with a little dent on top. Our cherry definitely has a stalk, and it has a leaf. So go ahead and put your cherry in there. And now that we have our cherry, <laughs> we can do the sides of our icing. So these look like this, bumpy, bumpy or wavy. They can be a little bit wonky, easy peasy, wavy, wavy, yummy icing just sitting on top of our cupcake. Now, because I'm a fan <laughs> of Oreos or chocolate biscuits, I am going to put a circle for my Oreo up here. 
it's kind of plopped on top if you want to do um a big wafer if you want to do maybe some straws or a chocolate stick you could put that in there too so if you are with me because i'm doing an oreo i'm going to write oreo i'm just going to put oreo r um o r e o because it's an oreo biscuit for me i think i might even do another line inside there just to kind of decorate my little oreo and maybe a few dashes so you don't have to do this but if you want to you can do that for um signaling that that is an oreo okay we have one more line left for this cupcake number one then we're going to move on to cupcake number two so i'm going to ask who is with me in a second after we do this but what i think would be fun is if we did a really wavy line like down up down up and this might be like topping, dripping over my little cupcake. So down, up, down, up, down, up, all over there. All right. You know what? We have done cupcake number one. Now, who is excited for cupcake number two? I want to know who is ready for cupcake number two someone put a marshmallow on top of this one i think that is fun <laughs> maybe if you need some ideas a marshmallow is a great idea so cupcake number two i'm going to head over here and i'm kind of doing like a rainbow theme for this cupcake lots of icing if you are ready someone's already eating marshmallows my one-year-old is baking cupcakes right now just so we can go and eat them after which is going to be yummy let's go ahead Put your hand to the right hand side. This is where cupcake number two is going to go. Are you ready? Make sure you spaced it well. Here I go. I'm doing a curved line for the bottom of my cupcake. I'm going to go side. I'm trying to keep it the same as the one I've already done. Similar size, but if it's smaller or bigger, it's okay. Now I'm going to do zigzags at the top. If you are ready, you can go up, down, up, down. Maybe you want a wavy line. Maybe you want little bumps any way you like. Up, down, up, down. Zigzags for me. Okay. Now that we have that, I'm going to make this one fancy. I'm thinking of putting a bow on my cupcake. If you want to put a bow on yours, go ahead and follow me. I'm doing a circle. I'm doing a letter C from one side and then a smaller one. I'm gonna do a letter backwards C on the other side for this, um, the other side of the bow and a smaller one. And then I can just have the ribbon part coming down. So straight, straight with a V, upside down V. And then I'll do it again, straight, straight, upside down V. Okay, and now it needs to have a little ribbon here. So two lines and then two lines so it's like someone's tied a ribbon and a bow around it okay <laughs> then we are going to start the same way here i go i'm going to do a bracket on the left i'm going to do a bracket on the right i've already decided i think this one might be a chocolate who loves chocolate cupcakes if that's you then this is what you color chocolate are you ready for the icing we are going to do lots of layers every layer is going to be a different color here i go for the icing grab your marker put it on the right hand side and let's go wobbly wobbly dripping up down up down some of them are big some of them are small all the way over just like that then i'm going to go bracket shape bracket shape so it's kind of like getting smaller as we go up we're going to do it again let's have a go wobbly 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 down up lots of little drips maybe this this one is like pink icing then i'm going to go bracket shape either side so you can see what's happening the layers are getting smaller as we go up here we go again wobbly wobbly up and down lots of little drips of this icing and then i'm going to go bracket shape bracket shape i'm going to do it again maybe maybe two more layers here i go wobbly wobbly up and down i can't fit that many in this one and then i'm going to go bracket shape bracket shape now don't rush the last one 
because we're going to put maybe a strawberry on the top. Let's have a go. I'm going to go wobbly, up and down, up and down, up and down. Let's add a strawberry sitting on the top. So I'm going to leave a bit of a gap and I'm going to go around and then back up. It's like a, like a heart shape. And then I can put like a little top on my strawberry so it's like a little zigzag tuft coming at the top. Maybe it has some little black seeds as well. If you want to do a strawberry, you can put black seeds. That's handy. And then the last step is just to join that top layer with the strawberry just like that. So, guys, we have two cupcakes. So on the third one, I'm going to give you a few different options. Who is ready for the third cupcake? Are you ready? Because I am going to put that one here. Now, a thing about these lessons is if you think I'm going too quick, that is fine. You just imagine me or imagine you doing the next steps that you can see. And then you go ahead and follow because our coloring might take a little while. So here I go. Our cupcake number three. Who is ready? I can see some of you are ready. Fantastic. Put your hand there. Make sure that you're kind of getting it spaced right. Here I go. I'm doing my curved outline at the bottom. I've got two lines either side for my cupcake. They kind of go on an angle. This time I'm doing bumps for my cupcake. Here I go. Bump, 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 bump. They're like upside down U shapes. Bump, 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 bump. Now I like this idea for the cupcake. Like the icing's kind of been whipped and it's really special. Okay, here I go. I want to see a bracket either side. That's how we start. And then I'm going to create a really kind of wobbly line. It's a little bit wavy, wobbly line in between the two. Now I'm going to do my whipped icing. It looks like this. Watch me first. Here I go. Bump, bump, bump. I'm kind of coming to a point in the center, then a long line. Just like that. And then if you want to watch me do the other side, it will make sense. Here I go. Bump, bump. Bump, long line to the point, and I have <laughs> a little bit of a lovely whipped topping, but I'm going to add a few more extra lines. So I want you guys to finish off that one and let me know, are you on to cupcake number three? And maybe you're kind of thinking, are you doing chocolate? Maybe it's like mint chip, maybe it's um, vanilla. What kind of flavors? So to make this look like it's a really beautiful whipped um, icing. I'm going to do a little line. I'm going to do a bit of a curve line just like this from one side, curve line from the other, curve line from one side, a bit of a curve line from the other. I'm going to do that two more times just to get to the top. So that kind of indicates that there's little ripples in our icing, which I think is a really nice Thing to add okay lots of you are still ready to keep going so this is where you have a few options what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a unicorn horn and ears because I know a lot of you love unicorns I have another idea maybe you want to add some straws maybe you want to add some wafer and a cherry maybe you want to add like a mermaid tail like this one up here. So you can put anything to decorate this cupcake. If you want to do unicorn cupcake with me, then let's have a go. Um, I am just going to do a like a really large triangle for the horn, just like this. And I'm just going to do some lines from either side. So it's got those kind of stripes like a unicorn horn does. And then on this side, I'm going to do a little ear for one little unicorn ear. And over here, I'm doing another one. A little ear here with a little um, smaller 
ear shape in the middle. Now, a lot of these unicorn cupcakes have little eyes. So this is what they look like. It's like a U shape. And then I'm going to put some little flicks for little um, eyelashes on my unicorn. I'm doing an um, upside down U shape and then some little flicks. Just like that. Now, what did you do for your third cupcake? What did you do? Did you do a unicorn like me? Or maybe you did some wafers? Maybe you did a mermaid tail? I know a lot of you love superheroes. Maybe you did some kind of superhero. I'm excited to hear. You can put that in the comments because now is the fun bit. We have drawn our outlines. I want you to get out your colored markers. So happy that someone did a mermaid. I love mermaids. Someone did unicorns. <laughs> I can't wait to see these. Um, it's great someone did a wafer as well. Now, when we um, finish our artworks, what I want you to do is take a photo and put them in the comments so I can um, give you a high five and I can see them. So let's go ahead. I'm going to give you some tips about coloring. So many mermaid tails. Wow. Okay. I'm grabbing a purple and I'm going to start over here. What I want us to do with our markers is use them to outline and have details. I'm not going to color in a whole heap of things with my marker because that kind of um, uses up all the ink. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to outline with this purple, I am outlining my little cupcake case. So you guys can choose a color right now. And I'm going to add some patterns with my marker. If you don't have markers, go ahead and use crayons or color pencils. Okay, here I go. I'm adding some details. What I am doing is I am just adding some lines. So it's a really fun idea with your markers to add extra details like patterns, lines, shapes, dots, and then you can color over the top with your crayons. It's a really great way to use your markers. Now, because my bow is really small, I'm going to color that in with a marker. So go ahead, color in the bow. And I'm using yellow. I really want this, um, this little bow to pop out. So it's going to stand out when I color in my little cupcake case in a purple, which I will do at the end. So I've got that happening with this little um, cupcake. You can use highlighters, someone asked. It just means that your artwork will be like a fluoro color scheme because highlighters are normally fluoro. Okay, my cupcake is chocolate. Is yours chocolate? If it is, I'm going to outline this little base layer chocolate. So I've just got my brown marker. And then I'm doing a lot of switching around with my markers because I want this one to be rainbow. I'm going to go blue, purple, pink, orange, yellow. But you could do whatever color scheme that you like. So this is what I'm going to do. Watch me. I'm going to go outlining, outlining this base layer of icing just here. And I'm going to do little U shapes all over this with my blue marker. So this is just telling the person looking at your artwork that your icing is kind of bumpy and it's got all those lovely ripples in it. So you want to add a little details with your markers. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with purple. So I'm outlining this one with purple. Now, if your icing is like pink, red, pink, red, pink, red, then you can do the same things with pink and red markers. It doesn't have to be the same color as me but I'm just adding little U shapes on that part of the icing before I add my crayons. Did I say pink? <laughs> I think I'm going to do pink. So I did blue, then purple, and now I'm going to go ahead and do pink. So I'm outlining and then I'll add my little textured U shapes here too. And then I think it's orange and then yellow. Sometimes the light colors don't come up as well on the video, but you can know that that's the color that I was using. Someone's doing blueberry. Yum. 
because I actually know that my daughter just now did some blueberry muffins. <laughs> we got the packet mix, which is a lot easier with little kids. So I know she made me some blueberry muffins, which is very nice of her. She had a lot of help, though. She's only one. Okay, I did my orange. The last one is yellow. Now, guys, I can't wait to see how you colour in all your cupcakes. I know every single one is going to be totally different. And that's the special thing about doing art is that every <laughs> time you do a piece, or every time someone else does a piece, they're all different because we are all very unique. I've got a yellow, I mean, I've got a red, and I am actually going to colour in my strawberry. It's not very big. So I'm going to go ahead and colour in my strawberry, and I'm going to colour in the little top green. And then, you know what time it is? It is time to finish off this cupcake with my crayons. So can you see now I have all the outlines in my markers. I've made it look way more interesting than just using the black outlines. And now I'm just going to have fun with my crayons. So I've got my purple and I've decided that I'm going to go purple over top of my purple marker outlines and I can still see those because the purple marker is a lot darker. So I'm going to go ahead and colour this in. And I want to know what colours are you doing? Have any of you done a rainbow coloured scheme like me? I can't wait to hear how you have coloured in. So with my crayons, I don't have to be too neat with going up, down, up, down. I can definitely go in different directions with my crayons. That's why they're quite quick to colour in. So that's why I like them for big spaces. I can see I actually missed a bit of this ribbon. So I'll colour that in. Now I'm doing chocolate. What flavour are you doing? Is there anyone doing like a strawberry? <laughs> Someone's doing a blueberry cat cupcake. Wow, I cannot wait to see that. That sounds amazing. I have chocolate, so I'm colouring in the bottom layer brown. And you know what? I think after we finish off our cupcakes, we should all go to the shops and go buy a yummy cupcake and maybe have it for dessert for dinner. I think that is a totally great way to celebrate the artwork and the art party that we're doing this week. I have a blue let me see, I've got a few different blues here. I'm going to grab my blue. Lots of people are doing a rainbow. Someone's also doing chocolate. That's fantastic. Now, what happens when you colour over the top of your markers? Sometimes you need a lighter colour crayon. So I am using a blue crayon, but I've noticed that the blue is kind of darker than the marker, so I can't really see my marker lines very well. So sometimes you just need to do a little bit of a test with your crayon. So I've got my blue. Now the next, the next layer for me is purple. We have a strawberry. Good job, Megan. You're doing strawberry. And I can see Mackenzie chocolate. And then someone's using pencils, which is perfectly fine. Pencils are great to use for this project as well. And let's see. I'm going up to pink after this one. And then orange, then yellow. So it kind of gets quicker as I move up because they get smaller. Um, and look, we have someone doing raspberries and mint flavour. Well, you know what? Cupcakes come in all different flavours. They don't just have to be boring chocolate or vanilla. So I am super excited to see so many interesting flavours coming through. So here I go for my orange. Now, I want to know who is nearly ready for cupcake two <laughs> because we've been here half an hour and we're going to move on to cupcake two, then three, and then we've got a few different choices of how to finish off our beautiful art lake. I am excited. Look at my rainbow cupcake. I am finished with that one. I hope you're looking at your artwork and thinking, this looks kind of cool and yummy. Okay. I'm ready for the next one. 
So, if you are ready, grab the colored marker that you would like for your little cupcake pen. If you're not, don't worry, you keep coloring there. It's easy, you know what to do. So here I go. If you're not ready, keep coloring over here. I am gonna use red. And I'm just gonna outline, outline, outline this little patty pan in red and i want to put a pattern on it so i'm thinking polka dots you might see <laughs> that i kind of love polka dots so here i go with some polka dots i'm doing some big red ones and i'm going to definitely color these in with my marker because it's not a big space so you guys can do any type of pattern that you like if you want to keep it one color or do stripes like we did on this one, of course you can. So let's go ahead and color in this little cupcake case. I think that's what they call them. And then I have to decide what kind of flavor this cupcake's going to be and what color icing I'm going to put on this one. I have my Oreo biscuit up there. So that one I know will be brown. And I have a red cherry, so I might do my red cherry after this because I've already got red in my hand. I need a few more polka dots. Now, I think, I think that I might use like a yellow crayon maybe to color around these polka dots when I start coloring the little patty pan. But it is up to you what kind of patterns do you want to put on. You could put on stripes, you could put on triangles, you could do a whole lot of wavy lines, anything that you like. Okay, now I do have red, so you know what I'm doing with red? I am going to colour in my cherry. If there's areas of your artwork that you want to really stand out, markers are a lot brighter than crayons. So my cherry's not big and I want it to stand out, so I'm going to colour it in with red and do the little stalk with green. And I just really need to decide what kind of colors I'm gonna be using for this cupcake. I think that I'm definitely gonna be doing some chocolate topping. That could look fun. Chocolate, like brown, <laughs> brown or chocolate and cherries go really well together. So I might do that, but maybe because I'm doing chocolate topping and a chocolate Oreo, I'm just going to outline this one with orange and then I might colour it in a really light orange like it's a vanilla. So I use that. What are you done? Okay, someone is done already because they did two cupcakes. That is very fun. Well, do you know what? If you are finished already, what I often tell my little artists is to do another one because you could totally have time to do another two while we finish this off. And then together we'll do the background. So that's what I would suggest. Now I think I did a little bit of chocolate topping. Yum, someone decided lime. Wow, that could be really yummy. I'm going to do pink icing. So I have my outline of my pink. And what I want you to do is if you've done this, is get your pink and just do those little U shapes again in here. So little bumpy U shapes just like this. So my icing is looking really soft and fluffy with all of those little U shapes up there. Who loves sprinkles? If you love sprinkles and you want to add some, I'm sure some of you have already added sprinkles. But I'm just going to put a few little, um, little dots for sprinkles. Why not? My sprinkles are orange. They might not come up in the video, but if you want to add sprinkles, this is a good spot to put them on. I think that looks really fun. Now, guys, I'm going to go do draw um, around my Oreo with my brown. If you are still doing the cherry or the little patty pan, don't worry, you can just have a look at what we're doing and get some ideas. We might be a couple of steps ahead, so that is totally fine, and you know what to do. You are just using your favorite colors to do some beautiful outlines and then color with crayon. And I'm excited to see what colors that you decide to do 
They're going to make me go to the shops and buy heap of cupcakes because they're going to look so yum. Okay. <laughs> I've got my yellow crayon. So I'm going to go ahead and color this one in yellow. Now, I could be careful and color around the polka dots if I want to, or I could go straight over the top because my yellow is super light. I know I'll be able to see the red still. So I don't have to be too careful with this. And here I go with my coloring. Now that just makes my red polka dots stand out so much more now that I have my yellow. I think I decided that I am going to do a vanilla cupcake. So I have this really light peachy color and I'm definitely gonna color that one in. Color, 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 color. And I hope that you guys are all on the second cupcake, but maybe, maybe if you've finished and you're over here, you can let me know. Is anyone up to the third one already? I'm gonna draw my chocolate topping with my brown crayon. And I think I'm gonna do my chocolate topping, uh, my chocolate crayon for my Oreo as well, because it's in my hand already. So I'm just making this one super delicious with all this chocolate topping kind of oozing down, which looks really yummy. And then we can move on to here. But we gotta like finish off our artwork. Once we've done three cupcakes, I'm gonna show you a few little extra tips that we can put in the background. I'm just coloring my brown over the top of my Oreo here to make that look chocolatey and yum. I wonder, does anyone have Oreos in their cupboard right now? If you have an Oreo, they're fun to look at because they've got heaps of yummy patterns or heaps of fun patterns on the biscuit. Okay, some, some of you are already up to your third cupcake. Wow. Who is still coloring their second? I want to know because it helps me know whether we should move on or just hang out here a little bit. I have done cupcake number two. I think they are just looking better and better and yummier and yummier. It is time for cupcake number three. So cupcake number three, I think the little patty pan for me is going to be blue with a few stripes. So if you are up to cupcake number three, then you can grab your color. Someone's up to the second cupcake <laughs> someone's on double um on the second one someone's up to one and two so this is great because when we are doing art at home we can be at different stages so if you're up to these ones you can kind of look over here and see some examples or options of what you want to color and then i'm going to show you what i would do for cupcake number three i'm just going to outline my little patty pan so you can see that when we do our cupcakes, we kind of start in the same way. We always start with a patty pan outline, and then I'm gonna do some stripes. Here I go. So we're gonna go across from one side to the other, and it's got a bit of a curve from one side to the other. So this might be a, a pattern on the little patty pan, and I might end up coloring this one in like a light blue. So, I feel like I've had chocolate here, chocolate here. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of chocolate in here as well, because I'm chocolate crazy. Um, so many people are done coloring, fantastic. I am nearly done coloring too, and we're gonna do a border. So if you can hang tight, you can do a little border with me as well. I have got a brown um, marker. And I'm just going around the edges because I want this part of my little patty um, cupcake to be brown. And then let's see, what kind of color should I do the topping or the icing? Maybe I'm going to go with this purple. I think I'm going to go with the purple. Now, guys, for people who are finished, I want to give you some tips. I want you to just have a look back over your artwork and just have a real good inspection like you've got a magnifying glass. And I want you to double check that all your coloring is really smooth. And you might find 
areas of your cupcake that has a lot of white flecks where you've kind of um, rushed your coloring a little bit. If that is you, I want you to go back over with your crayons. Go back over and make it really nice and smooth because we don't have much longer. I'm putting sprinkles on. I've got a blue marker here and I'm adding some blue sprinkles to this little cupcake. So just have a little once over your artwork to make sure it is really good quality, okay? Because we're going to just finish up soon, but I want you to go away with an artwork that you tried really hard and you're really pleased with. Okay, I'm up to outlining the horn and the little ears. Let's have a look. I'm going to go with yellow, a yellow horn. A lot of you are so speedy today. That's very impressive. Here is my horn, and I think I'm going to do some yellow ears too. Maybe I've got to get you to come on here and help me color faster. <laughs> okay. Now, if you have done art with me before and you already know how to do a border, you might want to go ahead and do a border. But I'm nearly ready to show you, and I'm just going to color in my patty pan here. So I'm going to go light blue with my crayon. Now, I can't wait to see your artwork. So if you are finished, or if you think you're finished, remember you've got to take a photo, and I want you to post it in the comments. Now, the reason for that is I really love to see the artwork that you created, and I can write back to you. And I'm also going to choose a few to share with everybody on the live class tomorrow. And I can only share them if you post them in the comments. Okay, now I've got a brown because I really want this one to be chocolate. So for a chance for a big little artist spotlight tomorrow, make sure you post your photo. And what I'm looking for is people who have um, really paid attention to all the steps and they have created artwork that they're really proud of. So in the photo, you might have a big smile. And that might tell me that you really love what you do. So here I go with my purple. I've got some purple icing, purple, purple, purple with my crayons. These crayons I got are like the packet from Officeworks or Target, and they're like $2.50, <laughs> and I use them all the time. Okay, here I go with my purple icing, purple, 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 and I think that... I missed these little inserts of the little ears. Now, guys, what did you do for your third? Did you do a unicorn? What, what did you do? What did you color in? Did some of you do mermaid tails? I know some of you did wafers. What did you do? Because I can't wait to see all the different, <laughs> all the different cupcakes. It probably make me want to go cooking. Okay, now I'm up to my little ears. Someone did a puppy for their third cupcake. Hey, Elise, that sounds amazing. Wow, they would definitely sell in a shop, I reckon. Okay, we had mermaids, we had unicorns. Well done. Now, what about some of the boys? What did you do? Did you guys put mermaids and unicorns too, or did you maybe do like wafers and chocolate sticks. I have finished my third cupcake. Someone did a doggy. Hannah, that sounds amazing. I know, Hannah, you're in the art club, so you do amazing art. And Catherine did a cat. That's awesome. So, guys, we have a few options with how we want to finish the artwork. So if you are up to this, you, I want you to grab out your black marker or your Sharpie. If you're not, then you can skip this step. You don't have to do a border, but you can just have a look at how we do it if you want to add it later. So I've got my black marker, and what I'm going to do is in each corner, just in front of the corner, I'm going to put a dot, and then I'm going to put a dot just in front of the corner here and here. Four dots. Now I'm going to join them up. And you could do a wavy line, you could do a straight line, 
any type of line. Austin did a cow cupcake. <gasps> that one might have black and white spots like a Frisian cow maybe. I can't wait to see it. So here I go with my border. I'm doing a line from one dot to the other. And do you know what? It is not perfectly straight at all. The wonky is fine. Isla did raspberry and lemon for your unicorn cupcake. Well done, Isla. Here I go. I'm joining up. This line is super wonky. And I'm going over, over, over to the other one. And last one. I'm going to start at the top. It's easier when you start at the top and you drag your hand down. All right. I have a border. It is a pretty simple border. So if you want to, you could add some wavy lines. I'm going to start at one corner and just do a little wavy, 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 all the way up, end at the other corner, and then do it again. You could add zigzags instead if you wanted. Um, you could do polka dots in your border. You could do lots of little bumps, like U-shaped bumps. Whatever you want, you could add whatever kind of color pattern or shapes that you like, but that kind of made it a little bit more fancy than just a square border. Jake did a wafer and a cherry. That sounds yummy, Jake. I would buy that at a shop. Okay. We have one more line to do with our black marker. Now, if you are not doing a border, I still want you to put this line in because it's going to separate the cupcakes on the table from the wall behind. So here I go. I'm starting kind of in the middle of where the cupcake patty pan is. I'm going to draw a line, jump over, continue the line, jump over, continue the line, jump over. If you don't have the border, it will continue all the way to the end. So guys, we can just do whatever we want in the background. And what I think that I would like to do is like this one up here, I'm going to do some crayon stripes. I think my background could look really fun with some stripes, like it's wallpaper. So if you want to do stripes, then you could grab a crayon for this one. Maybe you want to color this in, the table, a particular color, or the border. But I'm going to start with the background. So here I go. I'm just going to draw a line from the top, and I'm going to hide behind this cupcake a little bit. And I'm going to color this part in orange. I'm going to do a really big orange stripe all the way across my background. So this is a big space. This is why I'm doing stripes. If I colored the whole thing in with my crayon, I'd be there for quite a while. So here I go. I'm going to draw another stripe and a stripe, and then it hides behind this cupcake. This is pretty good because it means I don't have to color too much because a lot of it's hiding behind the cupcakes. Here I go from the top, stripe down, and then stripe down. I'm going to see a little more of this one. It's going to tuck in here. And I'm going to keep going. So there are lots of different ways that you can finish your background. Um, if you want to leave it blank and do a border, and maybe you just want to color the border in, then that would look great. If you want to just color the table in, at the bottom, just one color. That could look great too. That's why I'm so excited to see all the different artwork that you do. Okay, line down, line down. I'm coloring in this stripe. Is anyone wanting to do stripes? Let me know if you are doing orange stripes. Maybe it's a different color. Here I go for this one all the way down. Now, if you're a bit of an experienced artist, Maybe you want to add a bit of a shadow. So I can show you that at the end, but you might have already done that. If you've done art before with me, you might have already done a little bit of a shadow. So that could look really fun as well. I've got only one more stripe left. So that didn't take long at all. Here I go for the last stripe. Down, 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 down. And I'm going to color that in. <laughs> now, if your arm is getting tired from coloring, then just know my arm is getting tired too. So you are doing the exact right thing if you're getting a little bit tired, but it is worth it. It is worth it by the end. Okay. We have 10 minutes left and there is 
some fun things we can totally add. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to add a shadow and then I'm going to add a little bit of colour to the border. So if you are with me, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to do the colour to the border first. And so I am thinking I'm going to do a red border. So here I go. What I'm going to do is outline in the red all this wavy line. And because I'm not being really perfect, I don't even mind if it's not exactly on that black line. So I'm just going to add that. Now you could colour in all these little bumpy bits, which I think I'm going to do because it's not actually that much colouring. So I'm going to grab my red. Now, guys, did you do a border? I want to know, did you do a border? Or maybe you just did some stripes in the background. So the bits that I'm showing you right now, they are optional. You get to decide. So that's what's really fun about art is that when you're the artist, you get to make a lot of different decisions. And what I want you to know is when you're making decisions, it is completely up to you that when someone asks you, why did you do that, you have an answer to tell them. So I'll tell you what, I am doing a border because I want it to frame my three little cupcakes. I want it to look like they're a picture on the wall. So that is my decision why I'm doing a border. I'm also colouring it in because I want it to stand out. So if you have made a decision in your artwork, I want you to just be able to tell somebody why you did it. And that is a really, really important skill in art and that's why it's so important that we talk about the art that we do. So when after this lesson, when you go show your mum and dad you could tell them three things that you did and why you did them. Maybe it's the colours. Maybe you can tell them why you decided to put a wafer in a cherry or why you decided to put a mermaid tail. Maybe you've seen something that you love and you wanted to kind of replicate that. So they are all really important things to do to be able to talk about your art. Okay, I kind of like how that's looking. So someone said no border but maybe you did some stripes. If that is you, tell me as well, did you do a border? Or maybe you just did the line at the back with some beautiful details of stripes or different colours on the wall. For those little artists who want to know how to do a, a shadow, this is the last part of our lesson. I'm going to show you how to do a little shadow here. And then we're going to wrap it up. So if you don't want to do shadows, you don't have to. But if you want to, or if you're still colouring here, you keep colouring there. The most important thing is to get your three cupcakes done. So here I go with my shadow. I've got a grey. I'm using a grey crayon. You could also do a really, really, really light grey lead pencil. Someone just did a border. Someone's doing watercolour paints. I love watercolour paints and we're using them tomorrow. Okay, here we go with my grey. I'm just going at the bottom of the patty pan back and forth and then I am bringing my grey crayon down on an angle. So I am coming down towards the border on an angle and I'm getting smaller. So if I'm going dark, dark, dark with dark pressure and then I'm getting a little bit lighter down on an angle and it looks like a little triangle coming down. Okay, so let's do that over here. I've got my grey and I'm going back and forth, back and forth, pushing quite hard. And then I am coming, moving my crayon down on an angle towards the border, just like a triangle. Maybe that needs a little bit more colour just here. Okay, it is the last one. Okay, the last one. Here we go. Someone's doing polka dots in the background. That's amazing. Here I go with my last little um, shadow. I'm going with my grey crayon back and forth, back and forth, coming towards the border in a triangle shape, just like that. Hey, what have we done? We have done a beautiful masterpiece 
all within the hour. I am so pleased with what you guys have been still creating. Maybe you're finished. I am so excited to see them. I know a lot of you did unicorns. A lot of you did yummy chocolate rainbow icing, cherry strawberries. I think they're going to look fantastic. So at the end of our lessons, <laughs> we're going to do these tomorrow as well and all week. But at the end of the lessons, it's really important that we kind of put away all the art supplies. So don't go running off without putting away all your supplies. And I'll give you a tip <laughs> with your little black Sharpie marker. Put it in and hear the click. Uh, you got to hear the click, otherwise it'll dry out. So someone did five cupcakes. That is amazing. And this is what I want to remind you to do is take a photo and put it in the comments of this post. Now, if you can't do that, I think you can. Yeah, put a photo in the comments of this post and tell me your name and your age because tomorrow I'm going to bring them up on the screen and I'm going to show you. So, guys, keep going and sitting there till you finish your artwork. Do you want to know what we are creating tomorrow? Has anyone got any ideas? Let me change the screen and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you two things of what we are. Um, one, what we're creating tomorrow and then something else. Okay. Here we go. This is tomorrow's artwork. We are doing an ocean turtle. And you can see that we're not using crayons or markers. We're actually using watercolor paints. So if you have watercolor paints, bring those to our lesson. Um, you can use oil pastels. If you don't have oil pastels, then you can use crayons. So we're doing an ocean turtle. Now I want you to think about how you want to kind of decorate your underwater scene. Are you going to have corals, seaweed, starfish, shells? What are you going to do and maybe what are you going to call your turtle? What are you going to call it? The other thing I want to share with you is this. Now, I run an art club where people come or kids come and create with me every single week. And for this week, I am giving away a art club membership. So that's you can come and create art with me. And so if you want to enter that competition, you can go over to Instagram and you can enter that and maybe you might win. So, guys, I'm going to say see you later. Someone said Georgia and Rafi. Thank you, Georgia. You're going. No worries. That is so exciting. So, remember to post your artwork and I will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. And we're going to do this little guy, this fun turtle. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.